vapes. It's me. Hey, uh, little learning moment here. I, I, I gotta, I gotta uh, share this with you. Isn't that politically correct to say? Um, I want to tell you something. Yeah. Anyway, I'm building this road in here, right? Again, just divide up this draw here. Got a deep pit on the other side, a pretty deep ravine over here behind me while well, the skid road's there, but got a crossing. It's deep, so anyway, I got a little spur going in. There's actually some nice timber up on that bank to get. But anyway, um, I'm here like, there's a dead ash that I pushed out. And then, see this cherry right here? I mean, it, it's a piece of junk anyway. We needed to cut it, but it was in the way. So anyway, but you see what I've done there? Now, I pushed it in there, and that isn't the safest thing in the world, okay? But here, here's what I wanted to bring up. Uh, here's the point I wanted to bring up. If you were conventional logging, um, you know, cutting by hand and felling by hand, you'd be really damn concerned about leaving. You wouldn't want to leave that. You want to, keep, you know, like I don't have a winch on this, but you'd want to get a chain or finish pushing it down or chain it and drag it down with a dozer or something. Because if you put a hand crew in here and a guy don't notice that and he goes over there working under it, um, again, you know, it is a responsibility to cut it or look around a little bit, but I happen to know an instance where a guy was killed um, there was a tree left like that along a skid road and he got back there cutting and it something dislodged it and it came down it, it I think it I think I think that guy got killed um, but anyway um, one of the advantages of, of uh, mechanical logging is there's nobody gonna come in here Dano's gonna be in here first with the buncher so I'll holler on the radio and tell him, hey, you know, I got a couple of hangers here, go ahead. And he'll come in, when he comes in here, first thing he'll do is he'll pick that up, cut the root ball up and ground it. And, or I will with Kimmy if I have to cut this section. But so you're not, it, it makes a real huge difference when uh, when you've got mechanical equipment that can handle this. There goes the four, four, four fifty. Nice drag on, those are whole trees too, so I think it good. good with the chains on it but like on the hillsides just make small bundles and drag them up to the top and they double them with the big skitter but he's dragging them all the way out now too but anyway I wanted to bring that up that's you know if you were conventional logging that that, that can be a real dilemma right here you know it, it can kill somebody if you don't ground it but right like, like right now I might shove it a little bit so I get it down but if I can't instead of ripping everything to pieces wait for the bunch to come in, he'll grab that, or I would with Kimmy, whatever, we'll ground that, safe as can be, so, but the point is, there's no ground personnel, there's no saw hands coming in here before the machine comes in, so, he's probably a couple hours behind me, he'll come in and get this stuff all taken care of, so it makes it a lot safer, that's my little safety tip for the day, alright, ta-ta guys, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later.